Right, now to some matters off the field. And the latest on the future ownership of Manchester United. Rival bidders, Qatari banker Sheikh Jassim and Ineos owner Sir Jim Ratcliffe are both interested in buying the club from the Glazers. As you can see, Chief reporter Kobe Solikol has uh, joined us on set. What, what's happening today then? Outline who's doing what where. Yeah, I mean, it's quite a significant day actually because uh, a Qatari uh, delegation uh, representing the bid for United made by Sheikh Jassim is visiting Old Trafford. So they're going to have a look at what they potentially could be buying. Uh, this delegation is made up of some of Sheikh Jassim's uh, closest personal advisors, their lawyers, accountants, bankers. They will be speaking to key people at Manchester United. Uh, they've also had some access to United's accounts, but not full access yet. And uh, they will also be visiting the training ground today. Uh, I think they will be given some presentations from people like John Murto, uh, the director of football at United. So the process, the potential sale of Manchester United, the process is starting to speed up a bit. It's been going on uh, for a long time. Uh, but the fact that the Qataris are actually in Manchester today uh, is significant. And of course, tomorrow, we're going to have Sir Jim Ratcliffe, the other main known bidder uh, for United, doing exactly the same thing. He will be there in person, actually. I think he owns Nice, uh, and Nice are playing in Europe this evening. So I think the plan is for him to watch that game uh, in the south of France and then fly to Manchester tomorrow. OK. I mean, do the Glazers actually want to sell the club is a question. That's a very good question. Um, I think... We don't know 100% that they want to sell the club. They haven't come out and said uh, they want to sell the club. Uh, what they've said is that they are looking at alternative uh, strategies. So they okay. may well decide to borrow some more money. They may decide to sell a minority stake. Mm. But I'm just thinking the fact that this process has gone, out, gone on for so long and it's mm. become so public. And, for instance, the fact that we know that... Uh, a Qatari delegation are going to be at Old Trafford today and uh, Sir Jim Ratcliffe is going to be there tomorrow. I think you could look at it and think if the Glazers didn't want to sell United, they could have sort of dampened down expectations. They mm. could have come out or let it be known uh, that they didn't want to sell the club. The more this goes on, the more the fans who want the Glazers out are anticipating them selling up. And I think it would be difficult now to envisage a situation where they come out and say, you know what, actually, it's not for sale. Of course, they can do that. Mm -hmm. But I think if they do that, there would be a big fan backlash. And also, uh, the share price of United would plummet. Mm -hmm. Do we have a front runner for who may buy the club? Well, the richest people uh, in the game at the moment are obviously the Qataris. Uh, they're the ones with the most money. Uh, they have the money to buy United debt-free. Uh, that is very, very significant because most United fans uh, would say that the leverage buyout of uh, United by the Glazers loading uh, you know, £500 million of debt onto the club, which is still on the club's books, that has been a big, big problem over the past 17 years. So the Qataris have the money to sort all that out. And, of course, they have the money to redevelop the stadium, uh, the training ground, invest in the squad as well. Mm. But do they have the money to give the Glazers what they want? And now, I don't think they're just going to throw money at United. They've got a valuation. I don't think they're going to go above that. The phrase that was used to me was, look, they know that whoever buys United is going to have to overpay for United because it's yeah. a trophy asset. You're not going to get United on the cheap. They're willing to overpay, but the phrase that was used to me was they're not going to pay crazy money okay. for United. I mean, it depends what your definition of crazy money is. A lot of people would say four and a half billion pounds for a loss-making business uh, is crazy money. But I think uh, the general consensus is that the Qataris are the favourites at the moment because they're the richest people at the table. Oh, just quickly, who are we expecting to see and, and, and when? Will we, will we see... Sir so Jim, I think yeah, yeah. I think uh, Sir so Jim is intending to be at Old Trafford in and person. at Carrington in person tomorrow. tomorrow. He is intending to be there. Sheikh Jassim 
will not be yeah. in Manchester today. Just to clarify that as well. And there are all kinds of strikes, so good luck to them getting there. <laughs> good point, yeah. actually. <laughs> OK, uh, Carve, thank you very much indeed.